Hey guys, it's Ray at OurVoiceOverGuy.com with another quick tutorial. Uh, this one goes out to uh, a subscriber, uh, Andrew, with uh, Cambridge City Radio uh, in the UK. I uh, had a question about uh, kind of clean, crisp vocals, uh, kind of that deep bass, deep bass or full voice, uh, and kind of what I do. Uh, I've probably got this request from about um, a dozen or so um, subscribers in the last couple weeks. So what do I do when I'm putting a quick uh, voiceover out there, not doing a really deep uh, trailer voice, um, uh, voiceover like movie trailer uh, or commercial hard sell read if it's just a regular uh, clear clean crisp spoken word like I'm doing right now for this tutorial um, a lot of times you'll see just because my voice naturally there, you know there's a lot of things you can do in Adobe Audition 3.0 uh, but sometimes you, you know you have to have a a voice uh, if you have a really really uh, shy uh, soft-spoken voice. It's really, really hard uh, to give yourself that, you know, Don LaFontaine type thing. Uh, naturally, I'm a, you know, uh, a baritone um, and have some bass um, in my voice. So it's already uh, partially there and I just help enhance it a little bit. Sometimes it depends on microphone placement as well. You can eat the microphone when you're talking like this up close and personal um, and things like that, that'll help you. But uh, so what I'm going to do is I just recorded this quick piece right here uh, and I'll show you how I clean it up and uh, what I do to it just to put it out there as kind of the clean spoken word um, with a little bit of extra bass, kind of that radio voice. Um, here it is um, raw. All right. Test one, two. Here we go. Here we go. Cambridge city radio. Cambridge City Radio. Cambridge City Radio. And then you'll go on to this part here. Now back to Andrew Lloyd on Cambridge City Radio. Now back to Andrew Lloyd on Cambridge City Radio. Now, has no effects, no nothing. This is just my microphone. Uh, this is me in the studio. So you actually hear, have the door open here. So you might even hear some fan sound in here. We're going to clean up a little bit. So um, let's go ahead and open this up in edit view by double clicking, or you can click on the edit view button right here. Um, and we're going to go, you're going to see some of this noise. Here's the background noise because I have the door open uh, right now. You're going to hear all of this in here. Normally, what you'll hear is I'll cut out all this little check one, mic check one, two, just getting my levels. Uh, I usually take that out. So what I'll do is just beyond that, uh, I'll take that out, do what we normally do here. And if you're a subscriber, you know what we do already. Uh, effects, restoration, noise reduction, capture noise, or capture profile. We're going to take this down just a little bit, 95, select entire file, hit OK, OK. Um, this is a short, short piece, so it should only take uh, about 10, 15 seconds, and that's done. You've got most of that out of here. Here's just some time when I was looking back at a script real quick. So I'm going to take that out. I can delete that. Okay, so I've cleared up. So this right here, I don't need any of this. In fact, I can take this out. I can delete that. I can take the end here. I can delete that. That's about clean. You can see some things here, and I can magnify that up a little bit for you. Um, just the tail end. Cambridge City Radio. And a lot of these are just, you know, your tongue moving around in your mouth, a little gasp of air if you're not using a pop filter or anything like that. So this little stuff right in here, you know, any anytime you kind of in between here uh, and here, if you need that gap, you can edit it out or just keep this um, right in here. So let's go to effects. What are we going to do? Like I said, again, um, I do a standard kind of set um, to my voice here. And I'll go right into... Uh, the amplitude and compression, click, uh, let's get all this in frame here. Um, now again, you can do this in multi-track. I do it in here. I know this is the destructive part of the file. Uh, once you do it, you can't go back. You can, you can go control Z. I have it set up for 20. Um, so I can go back and undo 20 things that I've done. Um, and you can change that in preferences. The dynamic processing, double click, open that part up and Mine's already kind of set up here, but you want to go to your Compander, Graphic, click on Spline Curves here, you get this nice S curve here, and it, this is kind of set where I have it. And what you'll see here is it'll kind of just even up the audio file, the audio wave file, top and bottom, 
kind of just brings it in, closens it up just a little bit. And you can see that the decibel level, uh, decibel level uh, has dropped um, to even that up. So then you go into multiband compressor. One good one to use is Popmaster. That's good. And again, I'm doing these really quick because I know these settings work for me. Now you can see how it popped all the way up. Uh, there again, you can go back to Dynamics Processing and add that again. Takes it down a little bit. Now, um, if I was doing more of a trailer voice or something like that, wanted to add a little bit of EQ um, in there, you could do that as well. Um, what I would normally go to uh, is my parametric EQ here. And I already have kind of a setting. It's uh, Ray VO parametric bass preset. Cambridge City Radio. Now you can see with everything I did, we started clipping here uh, on that. And I don't want that, obviously. Um, so I'm going to take this gain down. Um, just do, uh, let's do negative one and see where we're at there. Cambridge City Radio. I'm going to take it down a little bit more. Can't do that. Open it up again. Let's go to negative negative five. Cambridge City Radio. There we go. We get that little bit of clip, but that's okay. Hit OK, and then you see that little piece right there where that k -k -k sound comes out, uh, and we can take care of that simply by highlighting this area here and dropping that down. Cambridge City. And then after that, everything else is kind of cosmetic. You just want to go in your um, spaces here and you can uh, either delete them because you don't need all that space in there uh, or mute them out, what have you, or if you're doing some kind of dump track uh, and you can send in, um, you know, if you want to put in some beeps, what have you. Again, another piece right here uh, that we're just going to soften up a little bit. Cambridge City Radio. So here, you'll be able to hear a little bit louder here now I take it to multi-track. Uh, and here's what it sounds like. Um, just kind of uh, cleaned up, if you will. Cambridge City Radio. Cambridge City Radio. Now back to Andrew Lloyd on Cambridge City Radio. Now back to Andrew Lloyd on Cambridge City Radio. And that's it. It's got a little bit of that compression, a little bit of lower EQ, uh, has that uh, radio voice, uh, if you will. And that's simply how we do it. Uh, quick and easy. Hope that was helpful uh, to those who are asking. And we'll see you on the next tutorial. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you have any voiceover needs, come check us out at www.ourvoiceoverguy.com. See you guys.